What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here. Hey, Lindsay here from Dallas, Texas. And listen, man, I'm fired up about these things. I want to see the 10 items Ronaldo owns that cost more than your life. Okay, I'm not so sure anything costs more than your life. But anyway, I get the title. It's a grabber. But uh, nonetheless, uh, we watched, we took our guys one time, we saw a documentary on uh, uh, Ronaldo, and uh, we were watching his life, how he did it. One of the things that was pretty interesting to me is that he's a single father with custody of his kid, and nobody knows the mother of his kid, and he's going to take that to his grave. Interesting thing there about Ronaldo, but uh, let's take a look at his stuff, his possessions, what he's bought, his assets, his toys. Boom. These are 10 things Ronaldo owns that cost more in your life. And first up is $800,000 purchase that literally set a world record. While playing for Juventus, 800 grand. Ronaldo got the bag of a lifetime, a $117 million deal. So he just had to buy something crazy. And that's why he hit up his jeweler and copped the most expensive watch in Rolex history. A 500k GMT Master Ice Rolly, Damn. completely covered in baguette cut and honeycomb diamonds. 500K or 800K. Damn, he made his diamond ring and wedding band in comparison look like ring pops. But listen, $800,000 on one hand are literally the cheapest things in this video. Damn. What if I told you Ronaldo owns something okay. so expensive watch. it literally needs 24-7 security and a museum? Yeah, well, no in kidding. 2017, Ronaldo was well on his way to winning back-to-back -back Ballon d'Ors. And in celebration, designer Daniel decided to create something special. He knew Ronaldo just opened up his very own CR7 museum, so he created something one of one. Customized CR7 what? Nike cleats. And would it really be Ronaldo's if they weren't Blaine icier than the cleats? The cleats were designed to be exclusive. And the only other athletes I've heard of with diamonds on their feet are LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, who's just like Ronaldo's, <laughs> were completely covered in diamonds. And those cost four mil. But just look at the oh, difference. Man. Dwayne I've still got shit before, out of Ronaldo's cleats, man. Never There's a seen reason they refuse to make Flippin Ronaldo's awesome. price public. Because he's a rare human being. And that's why Ronaldo's the only athlete in the world spending millions millions to literally save his Slide fans lives right after ronaldo won his third ballon d'or it should have been one of the proudest moments of his life but that's when he found out some disturbing news one of his biggest fans was suffering from a rare brain disorder and Ronaldo's a man of the people. So he sent the family $100,000 for the boy's surgery. And that donation literally saved the boy's wow, life. That's awesome. Once the story became a trending topic, Ronaldo fans found out that he's secretly been saving kids all over the world. And just yeah, a few years go. later, there Ronaldo even decided to auction off all five of his Ballon d'Ors to donate his earnings to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and save kids with terminal illnesses. Yeah. Combining the surgeries he's paid for and each Ballon d'Or selling for around 700 k he spent around three and a half million just taking care of his fans. It's a, and it's all been covered up by so the hundreds of millions he spent on things like these. But before we get to those, first, we gotta- But I just want to stop right there. I mean, that's exactly why you find a pursuit an endeavor, an opportunity to maximize your skills, your abilities, whatever platform that the good Lord has put your feet on, you want to maximize it. Now, in my opinion, listen, the gift of celebrity, the gift of being an athlete, a professional athlete, the gift of these people that you see on TV are celebrities. I believe that's a gift. Well, you and I also have a gift. We have the gift of being a nurse. We have the gift of being a fireman. We have the gift of being a military uh, a service personnel. We have the gift of being an entrepreneur. You have, you have so many gifts out there. Yes, it may not be a hundred thousand or three hundred thousand dollar gifts and contributions you make, but a thousand bucks here or two thousand bucks here, and at the same time, as you're making money, is you're not letting the world kick your ass with inflation and rising interest rates because you've elevated your financial game. Guess what? The more money you make, the bigger contributor you are. Money is simply just a magnifier. And so cool to see that. Ronaldo here has silently given away money along the way. I just don't like the way his attitude was throughout the World Cup and him, him being benched. By the way, what a risk from the coach to bench him. And then the risk of putting a player in, a 21-year-old player to replace him at his position. What type of pressure that could have been for the coach and that 21-year-old player. And this, you know, he scores three goals in that game during the World Cup. I mean, so Ronaldo... You know, I don't know what this situation was, but uh, you showed a little bit of selfish tendencies there, my man. You're not a team player, but what do I know about soccer? All I know is from the outside looking in. What is your thoughts about Ronaldo getting benched during the World Cup? Please put in the comment section below. We gotta talk about the girl that's cost Ronaldo four million. Cause lately he's been making around $500,000 a week after taxes. And he's realized that's way too much money to be iced out alone. 
His girl Georgina stuck alongside him through everything, and they've even started a family. So Renault decided it's time to bless her. After he caught her commenting on an Instagram post from Cartier, <laughs> right then and there he knew the perfect gift to pop the question. This diamond ring is the most expensive engagement ring of any football player ever. $872,000. And Georgina was so happy. Oh, by the way, my first reaction, I'm like, that's it? I would thought it was like a maybe a million dollar ring, $2 million, $3 million engagement. I don't know, but hey, what do I know? $872,000 ring, more power to him, is now fiance, now wife. Congratulations on this engagement. Right when she got it, she had to drop a post revealing the masterpiece. And uh, I'm sure behind the scenes, she's been paying Ronaldo back big. Because lately, Georgina's been <laughs> spotted sure rocking $60,000 Patek Philippe's, $50,000 diamond bracelets. And here in 2021, Ronaldo bought her a $140,000 custom Louis Vuitton Damn. jewelry trunk. Damn. It's literally bigger Just than their kids. Just for Georgina's jewelry. entire jewelry collection is worth around $4 million. Black diamonds, so it's look safe at that. to say her days of working cash registers at the Google Gucci store are long gone. Cause whenever she ain't getting That's what icy, she used to do? she's getting wet she on Ronaldo's $12 store? million dollar purchase. Okay. Back in 2020, I right after Ronaldo won his second man. straight <laughs> Serie A title, he just had to splash out. Literally. And he spent over 12 M's on this. This yacht? This yacht has five cabins, six bathrooms, a kitchen, bar. I mean, there's a reason there Ronaldo you know. and his family take so many vacations. This yacht's damn near a Look mansion that, on the water. Boy. When you're making almost $2,000 an hour, you can afford to live like Jesus. And that's why Ronaldo has one of the most <laughs> expensive <laughs> car collections of any athlete yeah. ever. See, Growing up, Ronaldo Royster. dreamt of being behind the wheel of his favorite cars. So in 2003, right when he went pro he instantly copped his first car and that was the start of a 30 million dollar addiction once he started stepping his football game up to a new level his car collection got ridiculous yeah rolls royces there you go. lambo Ghost. porsches Inventador. mercedes Bentley. yes come on i'm not kidding come on almost made it a tradition to buy at least one new car yes. every single month and lately, Why not? his obsession started making his teammates pissed. In early 2021, Why? Ronaldo decided to skip training for an exclusive Ferrari event. <sighs> he flew to Italy's factory, where it. they dropped something rare for $2 million. I get it. And listen, this Ferrari Monza SP1 so exclusive, uh, you can only buy it if Ferrari lets you. So of course Ronaldo needed one. But there was a problem. Yeah. His teammates got so mad at him for skipping training, yeah. they damn near refused to play. So a few months after, after, Ronaldo was transferred and decided getting in trouble once just wasn't enough and hit the car dealership again. See, that's what I was talking about earlier on. A little bit of selfish tendencies there, man. Your whole entire team. You let your whole team down, literally left training just so you can go buy a car. I mean, there's seasons for this thing. I mean, if you're really that badass, there's timing for everything. There's time for everything. It's just a damn car on top of that, man. But your team, who may not be as financially blessed or has a championship, and you're part of a team, they didn't have the opportunities you had, but you decided to skip out. No wonder they're having a hard time with him. So, hey, more power to the team for standing up and calling him out on it. Good for you guys. Ronaldo just signed a $72 million deal and set aside 600 k for some new whips, a Bentley Flying Spur, and a Lamborghini Urus. So right when paparazzi saw Ronaldo in these dashes, yeah, they man. made sure their cameras were flashing. And when Man U's manager saw his addiction of pulling up in new cars and how he was getting so much- Man, that's a, a gray Urus? Listen, man, you don't buy a Lamborghini that's gray. You gotta buy a Lamborghini that's like green or yellow or red, something, man. Gray, gray Lambo? Come on, man. By the way, you get a Lambo. What color is your Lambo? What color would you put on your Lambo? What exterior, interior, what you got? For me, it's got to be green, baby. Green on green. Hy hyper green, Kelly green, whatever you want to call that green. Money green. It's my Lambo. I don't know. Maybe uh, a Urus because I don't. I definitely don't fit in the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the Aventador. Or I don't fit in the, uh, the Huracan, but uh, definitely find myself the hurricane. Who knows, man? Maybe it might be a trade-up type of possibility. So much attention. He literally banned all Man U players from driving any supercars as long as they're on the club. So until Ronaldo's contract's up in two years, his entire $30 million collection is forced to collect dust. dust. <laughs> so I already know he's mad about his garage's most prized possession, a $19 million, only 10 ever made, Bugatti Shento DH. Just look at this thing, man. Literally looks like it could transform and fly away. But 236 miles an hour, uh... Listen, man, as many Bugattis as I've seen, and as expensive as they are, 
I don't know, man. They're, they're just not very attractive to me. I might be just out of pocket. You might go, what are you talking about, Paul? You have no talk, you know, no clue what you're talking about. They're just not attractive to me, man. They're, they're just, I don't know. And on top of that, I'm $1 million, $2 million, $15 million for a Bugatti. I mean, Andrew Tate buys one. These guys buy one. I just don't think it's attractive. I don't think it's a good looking car. But hey, everybody's got their own taste. It ain't fast enough for that. Sometimes Ronaldo needs to go 600. And that's literally what led him to setting a world record, making a $60 million purchase. See, Buying Ronaldo what? constantly has to travel from country to country. Buying a jet? And when he found out Messi was flying around in this, Ronaldo <laughs> just had to do him dirty. <laughs> $32 million dirty. So he went out and copped the most expensive plane of any football player ever. A custom Gulfstream G650 jet branded with his own CR6. Did you see that? You see Ronaldo watches the Seven Fear Squad all the time on the top of his airplane. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to YouTube channel, Seven Fear Squad, a channel dedicated to help you think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow Millionaire, please subscribe. DR7 logo. Now, other than traveling faster than any car, uh, what other perks come with spending 32 M's? Well, on the inside, Wi-Fi, a dining area with microwaves, ovens, a refrigerator, and to make things even crazier, this ain't even Ronaldo's only private jet. He's also <laughs> copped a Gulfstream G200, but this time, he wanted Not to save a jets. little money on his rainy day plane, so he spent just 28 million. And Ronaldo's second one put him alongside athletes like Floyd Mayweather and Michael Jordan as some of the only athletes with more than one jet. But see, Ronaldo's used to be in an exclusive category because right after he signed a billion dollar deal, what he bought cost so many millions, the only people who have one are him and Donald Trump. <laughs> and now that we're getting into Ronaldo's top three most Rare expensive air, man. purchases ever, this is where things actually get crazy. One day when he traveled to San Sebastian for a game against Sociedad, he came up with a gazillion dollar plan. Ronaldo's team pulled up to this hotel, and right when he saw the place, it was love at first sight. But instead of just embracing the experience, Ronaldo was actually inspired. He hit up his boys back home and had them start sketching out designs to create his very own CR7 themed hotels. And not long after, he had them built in Funchal, Lisbon, New York, and Paris. These nice. hotels cost Ronaldo over $40 million each. Good investment. And Ronaldo spending over 40 M's on where his fans stay. Just imagine how him and his family live. Well, let me give you a hint. It cost way more than 40 M's. It all started back in 2003 when he got his first career check. See, Ronaldo ain't like people you and I know, living in their mom's basement. Right when Ronaldo got a chance to move out, he did, copping an insane 7,000 square foot mansion. And for it being his first crib, it was pretty crazy. Six bedrooms and bathrooms, a full-size gym, movie theater, indoor swimming pool and a jacuzzi. But with it only being worth four mil, this was just the beginning of Ronaldo's only spending mil, problem. Huh? Right when New he York. signed with Real Madrid, he decided to upgrade. And well, he gave us a tour. Coming in, this is where I live. Let's go. I love this dog. Welcome to my you crib. Because it's always quiet. <laughs> Cristiano, play football. We have the the nets there, it's already there. And we create here the Christmas tree. Nice. Soon. Hold up. Let me wipe off my glasses real quick. Did I just see this man have a basketball hoop, two pools, and an entire football field in his backyard? Man, yes, what the hell did. am I doing in my life? But listen, this ain't even close to Ronaldo's most expensive home. In 2015, Ronaldo copped his first crib in the US, an $18 million L-shaped apartment in New York's apartment. Trump Tower. Yeah, it's only three bedrooms and bathrooms, but throughout the entire property? Three bedroom, three bathroom, 17 million in Trump hotel crazy okay there's views of literally everything in new york city but i mean are we really surprised we're talking about a man who every single year makes a hundred million dollars and there's one person who's helped him become the man he is today so ronaldo wanted to celebrate his agent's big day making the most expensive purchase of his entire life in 2015, George Mendez announced that he was finally engaged, and Ronaldo could have just been his best man and called it a day. Uh, yeah, right. He couldn't just get George a car, house, helicopter, or a rocket ship. <laughs> Ronaldo really went out and spent $50 million for George to have his own island. What? Jesus Christ. I gotta quit my job and become Ronaldo's full-time friend or yeah. something. But well, there it is, man. Uh, I saw less 
asset purchases, unlike Messi, who did invest a lot more. I think his top three purchases were things that he bought that were assets that could be a money makers also too as well. It was a lot of contributions, a lot of foundations, a lot of charity work, a lot more with Messi than I saw Ronaldo. But then again, I'm just basing it based on these two videos. But what are your thoughts? What do you think? I'm inspired by this stuff, man. This stuff jacks me up. And if you're business playing, so, oh man, you know, this is, listen, these type of things, you have to have some form of goal. These type of things, you have, you should have some form of desire to own some of these. It enlarges your spirit and however you're driven. It's, it's not necessarily the thing that you're buying, but it's a process and a journey that gets you there. And some of you guys say, well, it's, I'm not really excited about that. Listen, you, people aren't driven by milestones. People aren't driven by $100,000 in a bank or a million dollars in a bank. You're driven by the journey. Whatever that goal, that milestone is, money in the bank, certain possessions, certain assets that you acquire. That's what really is the process that makes you enlarge in your spirit because you know what it means to you and what it can contribute back to people that you love and care about. And so, for example, one of my biggest things I want to purchase for my home, for the kids one day, we're just, uh, we're getting a, a piano delivered to our house on Thursday. It's a Yamaha. It's got this, uh, this clavier system. I love the piano. I'm a piano guy. Love people, love artwork. People love other things. I love pianos. People love watches. I love pianos. But one of my biggest things I want to acquire one of these days soon is a Borzendorfer piano. It's an Austrian piano maker, over 250 years old. It takes six years to make this type of piano. Uh, Drake's own, owns one. And listen, it's the Rolls Royce of pianos. That type of stuff fires me up because I want this as a family heirloom to my children. When I pass, when I pass away, when I'm dead and gone, I want them to always look upon that piano and say, Hey, this is one awesome thing that dad left us. Not only was a piece of, uh, of history, uh, furniture for the home, a piano, but also music and what it brings to the family. So what fires you up? What is firing up right now? Are you thinking about it? If you're not having something come at the top of your head, you're not dreaming big enough, crank on that dream machine, man. Please put your dream goal, aspiration, possession in the comment section below. That being said, guys, what are your thoughts, your questions, your comments, your feedback, please put it in the comment section below. If you haven't done so, if you watch this video, please hit like. If you watch a couple other videos, if you haven't done so already, please consider hitting subscribe, hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, from Dallas, Texas, I'm your money smart guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.